All right, today in our series entitled Discover, Map, and Monitor Your Cloud, we're going to be walking through and connecting ServiceNow into a cloud vendor. So as you can see, ServiceNow integrates directly with the most prominent of cloud providers. For today's Tech Byte, we're just going to be walking through and setting up our connection into AWS. This will allow us to use API calls from our mid server that exists in that cloud account to gain information about infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, um, function as a service. We're going to bring in the tags. This is going to allow us uh, to then add them into a tag based service map, which we'll get to shortly. And then we can monitor our services health. And those are going to give us the outcomes that we're looking for um, very quickly. OK, let's take a look at how to do that. <clears throat> so we can see that we have one service account. You will have no service accounts when you start. For AWS, this service account is going to take your account number or account ID. And then that's going to be linked with a, a discovery credential. For the case of AWS, again, it's going to be access key and secret. When you have these two records linked together and you have your cloud service account, you won't see the logical data centers like we see here in order to get those the first thing that you'll want to do after inputting the information is discover your data centers. All right, now that that is complete, we see that we have our logical data centers filled in in the related list. And most importantly, we don't have any errors in the data center discovery status. It has completed successfully and uh, we have our data center records. At this point, you can either create the cloud discovery schedule through this very convenient related link, or you could go into your discovery schedules menu module uh, and in list view, start a new cloud discovery that way as well. Because we've already added our service account outside of this UI, we're not going to need to add one here. We're just going to select it, and we can see that it's already selected being the only account. We have one of one mid server that's going to be able to do this job, though, if you have multiple mid servers, you'll want to work with the capabilities of those mid servers so that only the mid server within the AWS space is doing the API queries. We don't need to test the account. In order to continue to next, if you are creating your service account from this UI, you will need to do that to essentially do the data center discovery so that you can continue on to select your data centers. You are absolutely fine to discover all of your data centers. You are also empowered to select the data centers that you want to discover specifically to save time. If we would like, we could leave this selected as it is and select a mid server or use the automatic selection method. This will take the IP addresses of the cloud resources. And if they are, in this case, an EC2 VM, we'll add those into a discovery schedule that will then run after the cloud API schedule, and we'll add those into the CMDB at the OS level to make sure that you're always getting the newest information from any new VM resources that may spin up. In this case, we're going to leave this off. And then we select when we want the discoveries to run. For now, we're going to leave it daily at midnight. All right. After a refresh, we can see that there are four data centers. We haven't discovered anything yet, but we will be patient. All right. Now that we have allowed the API-based discovery to finish, you can see that we have all of our cloud resources, our virtual machines across our four data centers, and with zero errors. If we want to drill into this a little bit further and see the specific types of resources that we have, I tend to think that the easiest way to go about that is just popping in and following through to that region, which will then give you a related list of the specific types of some of the resources related to that region. Of course, as with everything else, there are several ways to get to this information. This happens to be my go-to. 
And that is cloud discovery in just under five.